Today we are going to do my southern styled smoked brisket and for this we are going to invite a very special friend of mine his name is Jack. Hey Jack where are you? Here's my mate good old Jack. Fantastic to see you again. This is a 1.7 liter pretty much almost a half a gallon bottle of whiskey we're gonna use the entire thing. Yes, we are. And we're gonna have a two liter, pretty much a half a gallon of Coke. And this is actually for me to drink while we're actually making the brisket. This has got nothing to do with the brisket. This is pure for 100% test purposes only. That certainly put hair on my chest. Wow. This is going to be an incredible, delicious, amazing marinade. Now we have an entire brisket. It's 15 pounds, A grade. We're going to get this. It is completely frozen. We're going to get it into the mixture. Okay, so guys, now we need to get the dry rub for the brisket ready. What we've got is one cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of crushed black pepper, and a cup of barbecue spice. What we need to do is we just need to just mix it together. And then we are going to take the meat out of the container. The meat has been in the container for about 10 hours. Um, what we will do is we will drain off the liquid and we need to just make sure that there is a, um, a grate of some sort where the meat is going to rest on, where you don't want to have the meat, where the rub gets put onto the meat and then the meat is on the uh, resting at the bottom of the container that, that you're using. So just, uh, heads up just to make sure that you've got something that at least there's a separation between the meat and the uh, the bottom or the top of the container whatever the case is so there's a gap between the meat and the container good morning everybody the family's still sleeping so it's a little bit quieter uh, it's just gone quarter past five um, taken out the meat at about five this morning I've already put the smoker on, so it's been warming for a couple of minutes. Um, I've set it to 255, it's at about 55 at the moment. It's pitch dark outside. When um, the sun rises, I will be doing um, videoing outside and I will go through the entire smoker with you. Um, it is Wi-Fi enabled, it's Bluetooth enabled, um, so we're able to control it uh, anywhere. The hopper is completely full, um, so we're just waiting for it to get to temperature. The meat has been in the uh, refrigerator from about 10 p.m. last night, um, so it's been a good amount of time. You can see the, the covering is looking spectacular. Don't want to just put it directly from the refrigerator uh, into the smoker, so you want it to get a little bit warmer you want to get it to room temperature or as close to room temperature as possible i'm happy i have my meat i have my coffee the smoker's busy smoking or trying to okay so this is the first look of the meat the probes have reached 160 degrees fahrenheit how gorgeous is this i uh I was going to just pull out the probe, but I think that there was going to be a bit of a stupid idea without some gloves. This is looking 
spectacular. Okay, so I have a, uh, I'm using butcher paper. We're going to be double layering the butcher paper. We're going to be transferring the meat onto the butcher paper. We're then going to be wrapping it, putting the probes back and setting the temperature to 205. Here goes opening this up. I'm just going to tear it. Wow. This looks, <laughs> this looks freaking spectacular. This is spectacular. Seriously spectacular. I am trying not to make a mess. I am not succeeding in not making a mess. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, so the bottom paper is gonna remain because I'm not able to get it out. Okay, so I am going to put it onto the board to make it a little bit more presentable. There we go. It survived. Wow. So you guys can actually see how juicy and moist this meat is. Like I know that everyone goes, hey, push it down, push it, pull it, pull it. So you can see all the juices, but this is just amazing. The wetness that's retained in this meat is incredible. Look at this, pull apart, literally just pull apart. This is the best 12 hours of cooking that you could get. Just amazing. Wow. Look at my hands from the juiciness of this meat. Wow. Mm. My 10 little fingers. These are my 10 little fingers on two little hands. And this is remarkable. You can have a look at the, the meat structure. The structure is incredible. When you look at the, the crust, it is awesome. It is just amazing. You can actually have a look at the, the liquids and the juice. This is just spectacular. Absolute just pull apart spectacular. And I'm not showing anybody. This is pull apart spectacular. Mm. It's 15 pounds and I could actually consume this entire thing. Mm. This is just fantastic. And with that, catch you guys on the next one.